Hello everyone, my name is Brett, and sometimes I wear a beret, and welcome to another educational video of WikiHow. Today's topic is how to train your body for nerf. Are you a serious nerfer who wants to be a nerf pro? Do you want to be the best nerfer around? Well, you've come to the right place. This article will teach you how to train your body to be excellent at nerf. Below includes how to improve your speed, endurance, agility, stealth, and aim. Good luck, nerfers. Good luck indeed. Now, clearly this article is targeting people who have some sort of focus on the games they attend and play somewhat competitively. I think. We'll find out. But if this isn't why you nerf, then don't worry about it. You can still have a great time nerfing and not playing super hard. And no one should give you a hard time for trying to have fun the way you want to have fun. Now, this article is a little less popular than the ones I've previously looked at, as it has been viewed less than 5,000 times, but it does seem to be very well received. So follow along if you'd like, as I will be doing. This is how to train your body for nerf. Number one, improve your speed. Most people think that people who run fast are born fast, or naturally fast, and that if you're not naturally fast, it is impossible for you to become fast. That is not true. I'm shocked. Yes, having certain body proportions will make you naturally faster than other people, but you can become faster through training and learning the proper technique. To improve your speed, you obviously need to train by doing sprints. For more details on how to train, you can check out how to run faster or how to run faster and increase your quickness. When you've trained for a while, practice sprinting with a gun in your hand to get used to it. Then, after you've done that for a while, practice sprinting with nerf gear on. A gun in your hand, a secondary strap to you, ammo on you. You will feel bulky and weighed down at first, but you'll get used to it, and then you'll have an advantage over other nerfers. Geez, a big surprise. If you don't like running, this article is not going to be fun for you. Number two, build up your endurance. You're useless in a nerf battle if you get tired within the first 10 minutes. You need to have energy throughout the entire battle. Ouch. To build up endurance, choose one of the following sports and do 30 minutes of that each day. Jogging. Swimming. Biking. Or even jumping on a trampoline. One of these things is not like the other. I would totally choose jumping on a trampoline. Dang. So if you have some fitness routine, just throw it out the window because this is what you need to train your body for nerf. 30 minutes of jumping on a trampoline every day sounds great to me, but I don't have a trampoline, so we're gonna have to nix that. Biking, uh, I don't really have a bike here. I'm not a huge cyclist. Swimming, I'm not a fish. Well, I guess the answer is. Number three, become stealthy. Learn how to walk, jump, and climb as quietly as possible. For more details, look at how to be stealthy and how to be stealthy like a ninja. It did not help. After you can walk, jump, and climb silently, do it with nerf gear on and a nerf gun. It will probably be a lot harder, but if you practice, you can become just as stealthy with nerf gear on than without it. Number four, improve your aim. To start, just shoot at still, medium-sized objects from 10 to 15 away. Okay, I'll assume that's 15 feet. Practice at different angles. As you get better, shoot at smaller and smaller targets, and shoot from farther and farther away until you can shoot and hit a relatively small object from 25 feet, 7.6 meters, away within three shots. Once you can do that, practice shooting moving objects, because do you think your target is going to be standing still? Probably not. Have someone roll or throw something, and you shoot it from 10 feet, 3 meters away. Yeah. 
When you get better, shoot from farther away and shoot smaller objects. The last step to mastering aim is shooting objects while you're moving. Set up a still object. First, practice shooting the object while walking slowly. When you've mastered shooting while walking, slowly start going faster. Do not start walking slash jogging at a higher speed until you have mastered the speed slightly slower than it. Complete mastery of this exercise is being able to sprint while shooting and hitting your target on the first try. To challenge yourself, you can run, then leap, and shoot at the target object while you're in air. Number five, work on your agility. Out of all the things you can work on to improve your nerf skills, this is the most beneficial. What I mean by agility is being quick on your feet, being able to navigate any area with ease, and being able to overcome any physical obstacle. Any obstacle, huh? <laughs> Number six. One of the things you need to work on to improve your agility is jumping. You need strong leg muscles so you can jump over things more easily, and also have a more powerful stride for running. Do squats and lunges to increase leg strength. Jumping on a trampoline is extremely helpful also. Again with the trampoline, someone really likes trampolines in this thing, and I don't have a trampoline, so... Oh, you know what that means. Number seven, practice climbing. Climb trees, walls, etc. Practice until you can climb practically anything with ease. Climbing will help you overcome obstacles and nerf. I'm trying to think of the last time I had to climb over something and that made me more successful in a game. Fort Warden had ladders. That's it. Number eight, do footwork exercises regularly. There are lots of great ones out there that you can do. Look on football or soccer training sites to help you. Footwork exercises. This seems highly over the top for nerf. Uh, let's see, if I have to substitute anything in here, it would be... And that's actually it on how to train your body for nerf. Eight easy steps. Do I agree with them? Somewhat. I think some of them are over the top. Stretching before games is always a good idea. And staying hydrated through the day is definitely one of the most important things. Wear the right clothes, know your gear, play it smart. If you like to run, run. If you don't, don't. It's a game and you're supposed to have fun. Don't overdo it. Don't make other people feel bad if they're not overdoing it. Um, we're not training for the army. We are shooting foam darts at each other. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you later.